Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today's video, well, it's a banger, so sit back, relax, stay tuned. But before this video gets started, I want to say a huge thank you to Keeps.com for sponsoring today's video. Believe it or not, two out of three guys are going to experience some form of male pattern baldness by the age of 35. Now, the best way to prevent hair loss is to do something about it while you still have hair on your head. You used to have to go to the doctor's office for your hair loss prescription. Now, thanks to Keeps, you can visit a doctor online and get hair loss medication delivered right to your home. They make it easy and deliver your medication every three months so you can say goodbye to pharmacy checkout lines and awkward doctor visits. Keeps treatments can take up to four to six months before you're going to see results. So it's important to act fast. The sooner you start using Keeps, the more hair you're going to save. So if you're ready to prevent hair loss and take action now, go click the link down in the description. Go to keeps.com slash flare to save 50% off your first purchase. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash flare. You'll get 50% off your first purchase. It'll be linked down below. Go check it out and get to saving your hair. With that being said, huge thanks to Keeps for sponsoring today's video. If it wasn't for brands like Keeps, I wouldn't be able to do what I do every single day, which is post videos for you guys every single day. So if you guys have been enjoying the daily uploads, with that being said, we're going to get into today's video. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. We are starting the day off at Tea Supply. We got to get the supplies. Well, we are, well, we're actually not building the fence. I hired somebody. I know. We do all the work around the farm, but like we're getting a real legit fence and I don't want it to be messed up. So we're at Tea Supply. We've got the dump trailer. We're going to buy a bunch of stuff for building a fence that will get built at some point. I don't know how much I'm going to film it or not, but then we're also getting stuff that we are going to do today, which is going to include fertilizing, potentially planting some grass. Basically, we're trying to rebuild the pastures that are all trampled down by the animals. Um, So we're going to do that. Basically, we're just going to do some lawn work. And then my front yard really needs mowed. The problem is I don't have a finished cut mower. I have a bush hog, like a bushwhacking mower type thing on the tractor, but I don't have like a riding lawn mower push mower. But you know what I do have? I do have Dale. Dale is the best mower money can buy and he self fertilizes, it's great. So we're gonna head inside, we're gonna go get a bunch of supplies, load them up, take them back, get to work, hopefully rebuild the pasture to where the, the animals can graze on it once again, and then hopefully do a little bit of a little snip snip on the lawn using Dale. You guys stay tuned. Step number one, gotta get that grass seed. So if you guys remember the video we talked to Kirk, he came down to deliver the hay, he said fescue, which is this stuff. This is the type of grass, he said it's like the fastest growing, like least maintenance, basically. The stuff just grows. So honestly, I wanna go with the cheapest stuff because the reality is the animals are just gonna trample it down next winter and it's gonna, we're gonna probably have to replant it. So this stuff is $54 a bag for, or $55 for a 50 pound bag. How much, how much, do you think that's enough? How much, does that tell you like what square footage? I have no clue. I bet it's gotta tell you somewhere, right? Nine, 90 hairy ch chess. What? It says 90 hairy chess. I'm not lying. It says 36 buckhorn plantain, some ryegrass, other crop seed. I mean, I feel like that's quite, it's not, we don't have that big of an area to oh reseed. God, yeah, we could try it. I kind of want to try it. Um, The other thing though is the fertilizer. They didn't have the kind that we were told to get. We were told to get 34. I think it was 3400, and I looked it up, and this place, I don't know if they have it. They have it at some other stores. I'd like to get some fertilizer. The thing is, the fertilizer's not a big deal. We don't need to fertilize today because it's not going to rain. You want to yep. fertilize the day before the rain? Not a big deal if we don't get that, but we do have one of those. See, I've got a push spreader. I haven't tested it if it works, though. I, I assume mean, it works. You got the hand broadcast. The hand, I got the hand so one. We got two. E either way. Okay. I think we're good. Okay, so we're good, and then we'll have to water it, which we've got that type of stuff. So we're going to keep on going. Um, like I said, the fertilizer we want to wait on until before it's going to rain. It's not really supposed to rain at all. I haven't seen any rain in the forecast as of yet and they don't have it so let's see what else what else do we need like this break? do we need a shovel yeah let's get that do you one. Want this one yeah yeah, yeah. That's, a good, that's a good shovel i broke on that look like that so we're, we're getting we're getting shovels now all right is there anything else we can think of yes or are we gonna did we, we did that one time didn't you lick one of those yeah was it salty yeah, it was okay it was, it was salty so yeah. this is a salt block that's another thing kirk told us to get is it heavy it's like 50, 50 pounds. pounds. Oh, that thing weighs 50 pounds. Sheesh, guy, you don't got to flex on us like that, my guy. We're going to get the, uh, oh, and these, weren't these the small tubs he was telling us about too? He was telling us there was like some molasses tubs. He was telling us there's some minerals and stuff that we need to start giving to, especially like the cows and stuff, but pretty much all of our animals need something like this. So we're getting, we can get the small, is this a smallest one or is this one even smaller? This guy right here, $50, cheese and rice. Oh these things better make them do jumping jacks or something out here. How much is this one over here? I don't even know. This is 30% protein, Purina cattle protein tub. Right that one's like protein. I think the minerals the deal then, yeah. huh? What's it say it's for? $72. No. You them, These better make my cows fly. Do not feed to sheep. Really? So well, see, I'm glad somebody here reads. All right, so we've got everything. The fence, the, the, the gentlemen are loading up on the pallets and we're gonna dump it in the trailer. So while they're doing that, we need to look for stuff to, to make Dale our personal lawnmower. That's essentially the goal today. Extra large. 
extra large for, for a big boy Dale. That's only 15 foot though. 20 foot. So then we something need like something to go around the tree so it doesn't get like so it doesn't get twisted caught. up. Yeah, I'm tr I was trying to think about that as well. So there's a tree. There's a tree that we're going to secure Dale to. Um, but we got to make sure it doesn't twist if around. You just like put a little cable around it and tie this. To the That's what I was thinking. If we could get a cable and then uh, clip this to the cable, then it should just freely spin around it. I mean, with just a piece of rope. Like we don't even need to buy the rope. We got rope. Mm -hmm. Like if you just tied a piece of rope together. So he don't, you think he's really gonna spin circles? Cause what if you just looped it around and connected it to itself to the, that's around the yeah. tree. I mean, that's what I always do with my dog. I think that'd be fine. That'd be fine. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, we're not too worried about Dale. So all we honestly, all we need is this and then we need a collar. Yeah. So what, what girth do you think this, this guy's neck is? I mean, we need like a real good adjustable one. That's a bougie one. How much is this? 12 bucks. I mean, you it's not really too, it's not too bad. And I think he'd look good in leather. That's you you think, saying. you think he would like the leather? Yeah. Dale's a, Dale's a bougie goat. You're not wrong. If he's bigger than No, no, no that. I'm saying like small wise, does it get small enough? You think? That, you know, like I so. mean, I can always make a hole. We could, we could always make a hole. You're not yeah. wrong. Okay, I like the leather just because we could always drill a hole. So we've got basically what we need as far as that goes with Dale. Like I said, the objective is going to be attaching him to trees to then mow my lawn so I don't have to go buy a mower today because I'm about to spend like ungodly amounts of money on this fence and I don't really want to have to buy a lawnmower if I don't have to. So we're going to attempt to use Dale. You were talking about... Jesus. Hey, hi guys. How's it going? How much is this thing? 50 bucks. Cheese and rice. Well, what about just a cheap big guy like this? Yeah. Why wouldn't that work? Yeah, that seems way cheaper and hold, and holds more. It's only, it's only 25 bucks. Feed and seed. Yes, sir. Easy freaking peasy. I think that's pretty much all we need though. We're doing good. We're going to go head out there. We're going to check out with this stuff and head outside and load everything in the trailer. You guys stay tuned. Folks, we got all the goods. Cheese and rice, I'm broke. Hit that subscribe button, folks. I need it right now. We're headed out. Time to go. Well, we're gonna get some lunch. Is it time for lunch? Is it time for lunch or is it is it like is it like eight o'clock right now? Uh, I honestly have no idea what time it is. It's 137. Wow, we've been doing this way too long. What up, Rick? I don't know who that was. <laughs> Anyways, it's uh, it's like two o'clock. Literally, I would have guessed maybe like 11. We were here for like four hours. Um, huge shout out to Taylor if you're watching this. He helped me out in there, gave me a great deal on some of this stuff. So he's a beast. And we're gonna grab some lunch and head back. And uh, well, I guess we gotta take care of all the animals. We gotta use Dale as our lawnmower, so stay tuned. Shoo! All right, folks, we finally made it back home. Time to check on everything real quick, make sure. Hey, how many minnows are dead? Oh, dude, like none. Well, that's kind of crazy. The water got dirty though. We, we threw fish food in here, kind of a bad idea, kind of stand it up. There's one. Oh, wow. That's a good ratio. That's yeah, the best that's, ratio that's we've had a in a long time. How are the bass doing? They eat the green sunfish we gave them? Well, I don't see it. Why'd everything get stained? It didn't even rain. They still have a bunch of the bait fish, but they don't have uh, any of the big fish. Yeah, look at those bass. It's weird. It's like it got this, uh, got a weird algae. stain to it, like an algae bloom last night. I don't know what the, I don't know what the deal is there, Could've but. Change Either way, I mean, they still have some bait, so we're not, we're not too, we can throw them a couple mm -hmm. big goldfish, though. Grab them a couple goldfish. Come here, Rick. Here, we can, you, this thing will work if you, for them goldfish. <laughs> you know, you think we'd buy net. Nope. All right. Do not get one. Nope. Oh, okay. There's one right there. Get him. Yeah. There you go. There you go, Rick.
Have fun. Oh, oh, they did it! They did! They kill it, dude! It's gone! Oh I can't believe God. that! They more, ate! More. They ate! Oh my God! I'm freaking out! That's the first dude, time I've ever sick. eaten. That was so cool! Oh my God! I'm freaking out right now, folks. The bashers crushed it. That's the first time these fish have ever eaten on command. Oh I'm freaking out, folks. We gotta get more. Oh. I got one in here. You got one? Yeah. Okay. This is absolutely insane. I cannot believe this. Let's see if you guys can see this. I'm gonna throw it right in the middle. Come on. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Overnight! We fed them last night and they didn't care. This is insane, folks. We gotta do one more. We're hand feeding them right now. I'm freaking out, dude. This is crazy. Alright, yeah, we gotta keep got grabbing. We got gotta, one. You got one? Yep. Throw them in there. Throw them in there. Alright, you ready? Yep. Where are they all at? There's two and then one. Okay, I'll throw it to the two. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Get it! Oh. <laughs> that was hot water! Oh my gosh! I'm freaking out Did right you see now! That? Yeah, I'm sick. absolutely that was losing hot it! Hot water right there! <laughs> this is what we've been waiting for! We get to hand feed our fish! Do you think you could dangle it like off that oh, ledge? Oh, I, I would think so. Let's get, let's see if we can get one more. Cause we can get them to come eat up shallow. Did you see that? How did yeah. last night they not touch it? For the last two weeks they haven't touched it, and all of a sudden they freak out. Oh, 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 come on, Rick. I just want to do this all day now. This? Well, I'm having fun. The small one's pretty impossible. Got him, got him, got him, got him. All right, let's put him shallow. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're looking. Whoa, look, look. Oh, he's going. Boom! <laughs> you, got, you got a big one or a small one? Big one. You got a big one? Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. Dude, they're feeding me like crazy. Oh my gosh. You think they'll come up this far? I don't know. It might be kind of skittish. Are they looking? Uh, kinda. I bet they're too scared. Dude, that's a kegger you got though. If they eat out of your hand, I'm gonna freaking scream. <laughs> Let them go, see how quick they get after it. Oh gosh. Oh snap. Yup. Yep. Oh, oh, oh my god! They're eating these things like candy! Oh my... Sorry folks, I mean this was not really the video, but you, it is, you guys got the raw reaction the first time we've ever had a pet bass eat on command. This, this is one huge step for us. One step closer to hand feeding them. Wow! I am just... I am blown away. So cool. I can sit here all day long and do happen. this. It's... The, when they chase it on top water... Freaking mind is blown. Absolutely blown. Well, with that being said, fish, they're they are fired up today, that's for sure. We need to go feed them pigs. Wake up, pigs. We're coming. You guys want some grain? They're staying nice and cool in here. Oh, All right. Hey, you're fine. Quit sneezing. What up, buddy? Staying nice and cool? You staying nice and cool, big boy? What about you? Hi, big mama. Hi, big mama. They're chilling. They're staying nice and cool. That sound, I'll show you what we're doing here. So we've got a hose rigged up. We're gonna spray right here. We're gonna just turn it on and it makes a little mud mud pool for them. This is their water. The 55 gallon drum with a little nipple. So they come, they can get water. And then we make them a little, basically a nice little bubble bath, mud bath for them. Billy, calm down, buddy. No, you calm down. Make them nice. Oh, we got one out. What up, Junior? Oh, what are you, what are you doing? You gotta climb. We gotta fix that. Apparently they can't climb very well. There you go. There we go. You guys are out. We're getting your mud ready. You happy? You excited about it? Look at them. Look at them, they love it. It's like Wisconsin Dells out here, folks. <laughs> Get in there, Junior. Oh, look at him, he's so happy. He's chilling. Get yourself a little bubble bath. There you go, oh, chill. Oh, we're relaxed. There you go. All right, well, they, the pigs are like in their little mud bath. We usually let that run for, I don't know, five, ten minutes, a couple times a day. Keep it nice and wet, and uh, time to go check on the rest of the animals. Morning, quail. I guess afternoon, quail. How you guys doing? They're running a little low on water. We got any eggs? Hey, Bonzo, I got, I got, a, I got a task. Any male you hear, throw them in the other chicken coop. Well, not yet. Oh, okay, sorry. Easy. 
easy on the catch and jokes. Okay. We this need to start good. separating. We're, we're watching the the females. I mean, pretty much every single quail in here has no feathers on the back of their head because there's too many males in here and they're all just basically going after each other. We need to start taking males out. We're not sure how many we have. So today is going to be the start of it. It's probably going to last maybe a few days. Every male we hear and see, we're going to grab and put in the new chicken coop that has nothing in it. They're going to live in there. It'll be nice. It'll be nice and cool. They can have a face walk around. They'll be totally fine. And give them some food and water. Just to... Who's that? Who said that? All right, you, yeah, you stay back there and keep an eye out. Still no eggs, huh? Oh, who was that? Oh, this one, this one. I got this one. Okay. Yep. Yep, 100%. All right. Okay, all right. Go, go toss him in the new coop. I'm gonna fill up this water, you put him in the new coop. There you go, dude. Ooh. Left, no, the one that ran past you. Who's that guy? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, he's a chungus. <laughs> I got him. His head's all messed up too. That's what I said, dude. They don't care. There's too many. They're all humping each other? Everybody's humping at Everybody's out here humping everybody. how big that one is. Ooh. Is this big chungus? Like compared to a normal breast? Oh, yeah. You got all right. Let's put him in the box. Three, four, five. Come here, little sucker. Hey, hey, come here, Rick. Yeah. There you go. All right. Phew. Wrangling. Get him, Bonzo. You can do it. You can do it. How you guys doing? You out of water? Got him. You got him? Got him. All right. Clean out your water dish. You guys are always making a mess out here. We didn't have any dead minnows for you guys. I'm sorry. Here you guys go. Some fresh water. All right. You guys want some food? Let's go feed them. Like I said, I've stopped doing uh, automatic feeders, and I've been feeding them like this, trying to get them to associate me with feed. So far, they still are scared of me. We're only on day like three or four doing this, so I don't know. It, it, it might work. It might not. You guys let me know what you guys think, but they got food. They got some water. What up, duck? You want some food? Hey, get yourself some. All right, sounds good. All right, so that was Operation Separate the Quail. I did some Googling also. Beyond the sound, their chest, if it's not speckled, it's a male. And every single quail I see has not a, does not have a speckled chest. So I might have got bamboozled. I went to the auction. I overpaid by double the going rate for quail because I thought I was getting 40 egg layers because on the box it said laying daily. And they're 99.9% .9 males. I have yet to see a single female. According to Google what they look like, none of these look like females. I got absolutely bamboozled. So get, get ready for some catch and cooks because, uh, you know, we don't need this many males. They're harassing each other. Everything's picked apart. Like there's some quail in here that have no feathers on their back. It's a bad deal, but we got some separated for now. How are you guys doing? Carol, what up, Rick? How are you guys doing? You guys killing it down here? You guys out of hay? See, you're not out of hay though. You just spill it on the ground and then you refuse to eat it. Dale, hey, we got a treat for you. You just don't tell anybody else, but we're gonna let you mow the front yard and the grass is gonna be better than any grass you've ever had. Don't tell anybody else. We're gonna give them a little bit of grain though, just because we like being nice to our animals. You hear that? You, you hear that donkey? You sound like a squeaky toy. All right, they're good. They got plenty of food. We need to start working. It's already late. It's almost dinner time. I spent a lot of time buying that fencing supplies. But one thing we're going to do is we got to get Dale up there, start mowing a little bit of grass for us. While he's mowing grass, we're going to be planting grass, get some stuff done. Uh, actually, before that, we forgot. We got the salt block there, so we're going to give him the salt block. And we have a mineral block that we're going to give these guys as well and see what they think. All right, there you guys go. You guys want a freaking salt block. <laughs> Coming in hot. There you go. What do you guys think? Sick. Oh, what'd you get, Rick? Mineral. Oh, you got the mineral block. All right. They might like this better. Well, actually, I think you're supposed to put it by their water. Oh, look at Rick. You like that, buddy? We got their mineral block. Look at him. He's loving it. That mouth do, Rick. And they got the uh, salt block right next to their water. I'm pretty sure that's what's supposed to happen. I'm going to refill their waters real quick. Huh? Lick it. Oh, I'm good. Rick, how's it taste? All right, I'll take your word for it. Anyway, it's getting hot out here, folks. These freaking overalls weighing me down just a little bit. But uh, now that we've got everything taken care of, it's time to go get Dale some practice at being my lawnmower. Because I don't want to buy a new lawnmower. Dale is my lawnmower. Hey, what's going on here? Giddy up. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, Dale. We don't want Rick. We just want you. You got to mow the lawn. Come on, Let's Dale. Go. We're, we're going we're to take you to the promised land, Dale. Ugh. Come on, Dale. We're taking you to the promised land. All right, there you go. Hey, 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 hey. Got a red yeah. Is he horny? Hey! Hey! No. No! Oh, he got stuck now. He's, how'd you do that? Rick, you got stuck. Rick. There. Oh, stop, Rick. Rick, get to the other side, Rick. A little word of advice. If you guys want goats, don't get any of them named Rick. Oh, he's pissed. He, look at him. He's, he's walking with some sass. You see that ass swinging back and forth? Calm down, Brittany. Jesus. Such a diva. Anyways, we got Dale separated. It's time to go up, see what he thinks of being a lawnmower, and oh, then like I said, oh, we got- Oh, 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 oh,
I told you he was getting a run and start. I promise, he, he got, he's gotten stuck one time and he don't like he didn't like getting stuck. I say let's just try to get out and get over there as quick as possible, otherwise he's gonna try to run. Anyways, we're gonna replant this. Come on, Dale, let's go. Vamos, amigo. Come on, Dale, get in the mule. Woo, all right, I think we're in the clear. Rick is just, woo, he's feisty. There you go, Dale, there you go, Dale. Millie, Millie, be nice. Hey, you sit too. You be good dog. Hold on, Dale, we're going. <laughs> All right, Dale, you made it, Rick. Oh, we got you guys' oh, collar on. Oh, He's chilling. Yeah. Is it loose? Yeah. Like all the way tight, it's loose. Yeah. Really. Making out a hole. You think it's? I bet he can get out of that. So. Come on, buddy. Well, he's got a collar on now. Look, see, told you we we're gonna take you to the good grass. Hey. So we gotta pop another hole. Is what you're telling me? All right, I guess we're gonna pop another hole. Yeah, I think. You can get, you can get a little circle going here. All right, Dale, we're gonna try it out, buddy. Oh yeah, how's it going, bud? Pretty good, caller. There you go. Good luck. All right, Bonzo's on babysitting duty. Good luck, Junior. Dale, I like it about like one and a quarter, all right? Not quite like a putting green, a little bit like on the rough. So don't do anything I wouldn't do. We're gonna go uh, see if we can plant some grass. Shoo! All right, folks. So here's the time where we get to get to work. Bonzo got out of doing the manual labor. He's on babysitting duty. The thing about goats and stuff, if you guys are really gonna do this, is they are social animals. They don't want to be by themselves. So like, ideally, honestly, that the animals that would be the best up there would be the sheep. If you took three sheep, put a fence, like a little perma fence around my yard, they would socialize with each other. They would eat plenty of grass. Those would be the animals. We're trying it with Dale, seeing how it goes, see if it's actually like a legit thing. Because I've got lots of grass that I actually do need to have cut. And like I said, I don't have a lawnmower. And I don't really want to buy one. So if we could just bring the sheep up there and like said they naturally fertilize it but today we need to plant these uh this grass so we bought that stuff there and then i've got this little spreader right here a little broadcaster that you can push and i have one that's like a, a hand crank essentially and so i've never done this before so i'll probably mess it up my plan is pretty much just to cover this whole area and then a tip from kirk was to get a pallet put a chain to it or a strap and then run around the atv and it basically it'll it'll it tills it very lightly and it'll put a little bit of dirt on top of the seed and then i'll probably just walk around and try to spray as much as i can obviously i'm not gonna be able to water that entire area but I'll see see what I can get done so stay tuned Shoo. all right she's full of seed we're gonna get to walking Millie you gonna push you gonna use a hand broadcaster for me I'm not a grass expert. I'm not a grass expert either. I've heard there's a thing as such such thing as overseeding. It like cross germinates and does doesn't do good things. I mean, honestly, some of it's not that bad. It just took time to get these animals off to grow. The bare spots, I don't know if they'll grow, but the other stuff should grow. I think I honestly think we're good. I mean, that was whatever this is worth. I'll walk the rest of this out. I mean, I don't know. You guys comment down below, you grass experts. What do I do? I need to get this done. We're gonna do what Kirk said and see if it works. So we're gonna go hook up the pallets to the ATV and start dragging it around. I guess we should 
fish where I water it. Boys, ready for this? Next step, after uh, drilling your fence twice with a pallet, the four-wheeler, water that seed. I'm gonna go ahead and water this side, and then we've got a we got a TPO sprinkler that we bought that'll get that close side. Again, I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but uh, it's not supposed to rain for a while, so figured I'll do my I'll do the watering myself and see see what happens here. All right, well I don't mean I probably just wasted 40 minutes of my day doing that. Uh, we're gonna try this little sprinkler system here. It goes right on a T post, and then you screw your hose in, and this will at least get hopefully this air and soak it in good. That way we know like how much water. I mean I I try to give the rest of the whole patch you know a good glazing of water. I just don't know if it's uh, gonna work or not so pretty sure you just you just kind of set it to go to one side about there maybe you go a little bit more hit all that see if this thing works oh god yeah look at this thing yeah yeah get it get it son oh chill this thing, Millie, what do you think about this thing? Oh, this thing's pretty neat. It actually shoots pretty darn far. I, I'm kind of impressed. This will water this whole, if you got like two or three of these, you can water this whole area. This thing's doing big things right now. Yeah, I'm getting soaked. Let's see if it, let's see if this direction is good. Yeah, yeah, you're doing good. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, keep going, yeah. Sometime today, yeah. Oh, you're getting, you're about to get squirted over here. Let's see if it stops in the right spot. It should stop at, hopefully at the end of the uh, pasture over here. This thing takes a sweet time, I'll tell you what. I mean, it didn't cut it too too bad. That spot doesn't need that much watering, but I think we're all right. Well, I'm gonna let this run for a little bit though. 30, 40 minutes probably, uh, come check on it. But first things first, we need to go check on Bonzo. We left Bonzo and Dale, heard something about margaritas maybe getting made up there, so I'm kind of thirsty. Let's go check it out. Dale! What's going on, Dale? Dale, the grass is still long, Dale. You didn't eat enough, Dale. Hey, you all right? You, you and Bonzo staying chill? See, I told you he was drinking margaritas. He's he does... made one. Was it, is it fire? Mango, yeah, Ooh, it's fire. mango marks. What up, Junior? You didn't You didn't even put a dent in this. What, how, was he munching the whole time? Yeah, he's been, like, he worked this down. Oh, good. He's a, he, he got he, one spot. And then he was doing, you can see where it's shallow over there. Okay. We were thinking next time, I think permafence it and bring the three sheep. I think that would be best because they can keep each other entertained. We don't have to babysit them. Yeah. The sheep eat a lot. Oh, Finn. Finn, you got to meet Dale, Finn. Come here, Finn. Come here, buddy. Finn is not a fan of Dale. Does not like Dale at all. Well, if it makes me feel any better, uh, on the second pass with the uh, pallet, I power slid it right into the fence. It's pretty neat. Break the fence? No, I mean, fence is still chilling. Why but I was horny. This is, we set up a sprinkler. It's sick. Oh, oh it's one? dude. It works like a charm. Really? Like it's awesome. Yeah, I just cool. ripped. So we watered everything. The pallet did not do what I what it needed to do. Yeah. I mean, if you went slow and like actually tried, maybe. But I was like, I heard you hit something. Oh yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah. I was I was whipping donuts. Dale, you got a lot of grass to eat, Dale. But he probably liked it. I heard you can use a fence too. And yeah, you can drag drag a, drag yeah. a fence behind it. You know, I just I, I got a little a little crazy. But I mean, he nibbled some down. It looks like. I mean, we were only gone for like 20 minutes. Did he self fertilize anywhere? Oh, he was self-fertilizing. Was he, was he self-fertilizing? What up, Junior? I know, you're probably, you were probably pissed, but hey, we had Uncle Bonzo take care of you. Yeah, you can keep eating. It's the good grass, I know. It's the good stuff. We need to bring the sheep up here with you. You and the three sheep, you guys would absolutely mur- Hey, you easy there, feisty boy. I don't know, uh, well, I'm not really sure if this is the most efficient, but like I said, next time, we're gonna bring the three sheep with a perma fence. Because the perma fence, I bet, would fit pretty much perfect. Maybe even put two of them together. Just in this area, leave them for the day. Mow it all down. Hey, save money on the mower said for self-fertilizing they're enjoying it anyways hope you guys enjoyed today's video i mean it was kind of one of those boys we gotta do chores today we're gonna bring the camera along just to show you guys it wasn't the most exciting day we didn't build an island catch any fish or shoot anything but hey i mean we planted grass that's actually what this video can it it had to do with cutting grass with a goat planting grass that probably will not grow uh because we don't know what we're doing but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video remember if you guys want any guggen squad gear at all that's merch that's baits all that stuff 15 percent off use promo code flare it will be linked down below go check it out hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and peace